colouring sketch. Today I'm going to do a bit of a flip through and a review on the Women's Girls Through the Decades book by Hannah Lynn. This is the Artist Edition colouring book. So I'm going to flip through that in a second. I just want to say that I do only own um, one other book by Hannah Lynn and it's the Sweet and Simple's Whimsy Girls, Mermaids and Watercolour. Um, the reason I've only got the one book is because although I love the images, I hate the paper. And I know that I could scan these images in um, and I could print it on my own paper. But I'm a person that really isn't keen on loose bits of paper and PDFs. I really do love a good book. Um, so for the first time ever, I've gone ahead and paid a little bit more and I got the artist edition. And I'm very, very pleased with it. It's still an A4 size. Um, it's got your glossy front and back cover. This time it's ring bound and it's ring bound at the top so that you can flip it upwards. So it's brilliant for me being left handed as well. Um, so that's a bonus to this. It is signed by Hannah Lynn and the paper is a lot thicker. It's not your thin paper, it's a thick paper. Um, so yeah, really happy with that. So this is your index of the images that are inside. And then these are your images. What I have noticed from watching other people's flip throughs is that you get a full size image and then on the next page you'll get like a zoomed in version of what's on the page in front. So that's what this is. If you think, oh, I'm sure that's, that image is the same. You've probably seen a lot of flip throughs already, but yeah. So you're getting a full size image and then a close up, which is really, really lovely. You can pick how much detail you want to color, but I just love it. I had to get one of these artist edition books because I do really love her artwork and I've seen some beautiful colored pages from this book. But it's always the paper what puts me off. Always the paper. And it's the same with a couple of other artists as well. I know they have PDFs that you can purchase on Etsy and you can print them on your own paper. But I really love a book. I don't know if anybody else is like that where they like the feel of a book in the, in the hands. Um. Yeah, perhaps in the future I might invest in a ring binder machine. Is that what they're called? I have no clue what they're called, but you know what I mean, where you can put your own books together. Um, you purchase these and put your own books together. So possibly I could do that in the future. But it's really, really beautiful, this book. One of the images, I don't know if I've just flipped past it without realising. Oh no, it's here. This reminds me of my... Um, granddad because the aeroplane looks a bit like a spitfire in the background and um, he used to be in the RAF really really sweet image that one oh, that's beautiful as well I've seen a few people do this one it's gorgeous I don't look like that when I'm kicking my Sunday roast. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, she's beautiful. I'm going to find it hard to see deciding which page I want to colour first in here because there is so many beautiful images. This one, the hair will be really nice to do on that one. And the wood the um, in the background. Oh, Mr. Beat up. So you can hear as I'm turning the pages, you can probably hear the thickness of the paper. So for me, ordering these artist, artist editions, it isn't, um, what was putting me off was the price of shipping. 
um, because I don't actually mind paying the little bit extra for the better quality. It's the shipping that really puts me off. So I, I did finally, finally decide to get it. I'm glad I did. But the shipping is extortionate um, for anything at the minute. Debbie did a really nice one of this and um, went over this where it says metal and I think she put, did she put Linkin Park or Blink 182? Can't remember. I think I might put Muse on mine. <laughs> I love a bit of Muse. That's super cool as well. And that's it and in the back here it looks like she's left you a blotter practice page to rate and use this sheet to place in between pages while colouring to prevent bleed through and or test your materials on ah so yeah you can rip this out and use it as a sheet in between your pages if you want to use your alcohol markers because that is something else you can do quite easily in these absolutely beautiful um you can see the thickness of it there. I just love it. I'm glad that I um, spent that little bit extra in getting this because I'm going to really enjoy colouring in this now. So I hope you all enjoyed watching it. Please give it a thumbs up, drop me a comment below and please do subscribe and ring the notification bell. Um, any questions do pop them down below and I will pop the link um, to purchase this book in the description of my video. Thanks everyone for watching. See you again soon. Bye bye